What's a chargeback? Good question. It's the act of cardholders reclaiming funds paid to a merchant in instances of a transaction dispute. A customer typically requests a chargeback if they never receive their goods and services, if the merchant refused a refund, or if the transaction was fraudulent, among other reasons. What's the difference between a refund and a chargeback? The refund process is the opposite of a purchase transaction. A cardholder can request a refund with the merchant for a number of reasons. The cardholder returns goods to the merchant, who in turn credits the cardholder for their value. However, refund policies will vary depending on the merchant. During the chargeback process, the customer contacts their issuer directly to ask them to initiate a transaction dispute. The issuing bank will then follow a process depending on the cardholder's card scheme with the aim of reversing the payment to the customer. Why do merchants need to monitor their chargebacks? A chargeback means that the merchant is faced with additional fees. Namely, these include fees imposed by the card schemes, chargeback management fees by the acquirer or other administrative fees. Occasionally, merchants may face hefty fines if their monthly chargeback rates exceed a predetermined chargeback threshold. With consistently excessive chargeback rates, acquirers may even terminate a merchant account. How do chargebacks work? Each card brand has its own procedure with several stages to handle a chargeback. These procedures are designed so they can protect consumers and give merchants an opportunity to dispute a chargeback if they think it's wrongly claimed by cardholders. Once a chargeback comes into effect, the payment amount in question is automatically transferred from the acquirer to the issuer. The funds are given back to the cardholder after the issuer investigates the claim and the transaction. The merchant then receives the chargeback details from the acquirer and can decide if they want to dispute it. What are some common chargeback reasons? Each card scheme has set reason codes to classify the cause of the chargeback. Issuers use them to categorize chargebacks from cardholders accordingly. Some common chargeback reasons include service not rendered or merchandise not received, not as described or defective merchandise, credit card fraud, friendly fraud, occurs when a cardholder makes a purchase with their card, which they then identify as fraudulent and dispute it, so they can then keep the product. When can a consumer file a chargeback after the purchase? The standard chargeback timeframe for Visa and MasterCard is set at 120 calendar days since the date the transaction was settled. The maximum time frame is up to 540 days after the transaction date, depending on the type of product or service purchased by the consumer. However, based on various factors, for example, the nature of the transaction and chargeback reason code, time spans vary. What can you do to protect your business? By nature, E-commerce transactions are more prone to chargebacks compared to in-store card payments. Online merchants have the option to use 3D Secure 2, an authentication protocol which abides by the European PSD2 regulation. In fact, chargebacks with reason fraud are not allowed to be processed at all for transactions fully authenticated with 3D Secure 2. But there's no silver bullet in fraud prevention. 3D Secure 2 should be combined with fraud management tools, real-time fraud monitoring, and strategic advisory from your payment partner. How can eMerchant Pay help? eMerchant Pay works with you during the chargeback management process from start to finish. This makes it easy for you to safeguard your business against fraud and focus on what you do best grow your business. Want to learn more? Get in touch with eMerchant Pay's payment experts today.